What's up guys, Jordan here with the top eight hidden features in OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. Now, starting off the list at number eight, new backgrounds and screensavers. Each new release of OS X always includes some new stunning background pictures, and as you can see, Mountain Lion is no exception. But this time, they also added quite a few new screensavers, but only new slideshow screensavers. Now, the new ones are very nice, and take a look at some of them, such as Origami, Photomobile, or you can get a cool vintage look with Scrapbook. At number seven, we have better search, particularly in dashboard, launchpad, and mail. First off, there is a new widget browser which allows you to organize your widgets into folders, and there's also a place to search for widgets. Likewise, there's now a search bar in launchpad which allows you to search for your apps, and in mail, there's a way to search inside of your emails for particular words or phrases. And just hit Command F, and then the search bar will pop up and then type in whatever you are searching for. At number six, we have the ability to install unidentified apps even with Gatekeeper turned on. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Gatekeeper gives you three security options for downloading and installing applications. The least secure, you can download and install apps from anywhere across the internet. This is how it's always been on OS X. For more security, only from the Mac App Store and from developers that Apple has identified, or the most secure, the Mac App Store only, and this is the default setting. Now, Gatekeeper essentially gives Apple some control on the app market, even outside of the Mac App Store, by being able to mark apps as quote-unquote acceptable. However, since it's such a new security standard, hardly any developer has their apps identified yet. Fortunately, you can still install unidentified apps with Gatekeeper turned on. All you need to do is right-click on the app and select open. You'll receive a confirmation window and then you hit open again and install. It will begin installing the app even if it isn't identified. At number five, we have easy encryption. In Mountain Lion, you can easily encrypt a hard drive, flash drive, or memory card straight from the desktop. However, the drive does have to have a GUI ID partitioning scheme, AKA a Mac formatted drive. If your drive isn't, you can reformat it in disk utility, but I won't be getting into that in this video. Now to encrypt a Mac formatted drive, you just right click or control click on the drive, go down to encrypt, whatever the name of the drive is, then this window will appear. Enter a password, to encrypt the drive, confirm that password, and then type in a hint and select encrypt disk. Now, be sure to remember the password because if you forget it, you won't be able to retrieve any data on the hard drive. There's no emailing a recovery password to you. Now, from here on out, when you plug in the drive, this window will pop up. You enter the password, hit unlock, and you have access to the drive. If you ever want to decrypt the drive, you go through the same steps. Right click on the drive, go down to decrypt, enter the password, then hit turn off encryption. On to number four, we have Safari tabs. There are technically two features that I will be showing you here. The first is a great new way to view your open tabs with tabbed view. To enter this view, you click on this button right here on the edge of tabs in Safari. It's great because you can just flick through all your tabs using your magic mouse or arrow keys and see exactly what's on the site. Also coming when iOS 6 is released, there will be iCloud tabs. So let's say I was researching something in Safari on my iPad. I can come to my Mac, hit this iCloud button, and see the sites open on my iPad and instantly pick up where I left off. Starting off the top three, we have new text-to-speech voices. A big feature in Mountain Lion is dictation, which, by the way, is turned off by default, so you'll need to turn it on to start using it. But Apple also included quite a few new voices for text-to-speech. Now, you will have to download these as a software update through the Mac App Store. But if you want even more voices, just click Customize and you can get many different languages and English accents, which is sweet because what American doesn't love British and Australian accents? Also, these new voices are great because they sound like humans, not creepy robots from a 1980s movie. Hello, my name is Daniel. I am a British English voice. At number two, we now have the ability to rename a document within the document. Before, you always had to go to that document in the finder, wherever that may be, and rename it. But in Mountain Lion, you just go to the top of the document. This arrow will appear. You click on it, select Rename, then type in the new name, and bam, your document is renamed. Before I get to number one, as you may know, there is strong Twitter integration in Mountain Lion and Facebook integration according to Apple.com. But when I looked for it, I couldn't find it. That's because Facebook integration isn't coming to Mountain Lion until this fall. And that's why you haven't heard much about it. But when it does come, I really hope Apple integrates it well in a notification center. 
So here we are at the number one hidden feature in Mountain Lion, which is the iCloud document window. I am so glad that this has finally arrived, the ability to access your iCloud documents on your Mac. This was a gaping hole in iCloud, and I'm so glad that it's finally here. Also, it's awesome to have a dedicated document browser when you open your productivity apps, whether your documents are stored on iCloud or they're just stored on your Mac. And you have the ability to search, sort, and share your documents all from this one window. So those are the top eight hidden features in Mountain Lion. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and favorite it. If you haven't installed Mountain Lion already, but you want to, be sure to check out the video on the left. Or if you want to know about 15 new features in Mountain Lion that will save you time, be sure to check out the one on the right. And for more videos such as this one in the future, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video real soon. Later.